Looks like water down there, isn't it? All right, let's position myself over the drop zone. All right, so we need to be at the edge of the drop zone. I'm thinking, maybe, maybe. Like right there. All right, fully opened. Uh, yes. There we go. Fondue greater than raclette. Not sure if I've ever had. I'm talking about cheese, aren't we? I'm not sure if I've ever had raclette. Uh, Yeah. We need to go down. It's a big mistake. What is this thing? Okay, I ran out of air. All right, just gonna have to go by feel then, huh? Just describe it a week. Describe the palette. Uh, can I push this thing? I just built a raft. Yeah, describe the, uh, no, describe the cheese. What's it taste like? <laughs> just built the raft, yes. Narrate, narrate my actions. <laughs> All right. Let's see, one second here. Oh, raclette is actually, it's not just a, uh, it's like a full meal situation. It's not just a type of cheese. Oh, it's one of the, okay, okay, okay. So it's like the melted thing scraped on. Okay, I had to Google just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, I've not had it, but I know what you're talking about. It's just the cheese part. Okay, that's good. Now I know. Now I won't. I won't make the same <laughs> same mistake. Yeah, it sounds like you sort of melted and then scrape it over other things. I can see how that would be better than fondue. Gives you a little more flexibility in your uh, food choices. Hmm. Grilled cheese, yeah, grilled cheese is great.
Okay, so we go back in the hole. I don't feel like sometimes I just eat too much cheese, you know. Interesting. So that raises that. It's like if he'd only eaten less cheese, we could have saved him. But, uh... <laughs> we didn't. Death by cheese. Huh. It's just a matter of running across there as fast as we can go. Basically, I've got to get that, get through that door. And I cannot jump and grab that chain, I don't think, in the water. No. Okay, let's see. Your friends in mounds. All right, so we need the water level to be high enough to get over this thing, but not high enough it triggers the door. Triggers the door as soon as it gets to the level. That's weird. All right. Hmm. I like that chain. I can drag over there. It'll float maybe. Boxes, things. No. It's a wall. What time zone in? I am Eastern. So it is, uh... A little after 9 for me, AM. I can s oh can I stop the uh can press it again that helps me at all oh I wonder if I can swim okay I wonder if when it's at max level I can swim across onto that platform I right, bet that's what we're gonna have to do It's pretty deep. All right, so we're gonna go down. Button. It'll be close. Yes. So that chain was just uh, there to trick me, huh? Oh, maybe we need to drag this back. Kid feels like he's freakishly strong. So we do use the chain. Part two. Next time. On Dragon Ball Z. Alright, so we put this right here. Cool. That 
that wasn't too bad. Man, some, I feel like some of the puzzles in Limbo really stumped me. So we'll see. I know st we're still early on in this game. Run into a brick wall yet. So they're loading people on train cars. I think the puzzles in this game are far less janky. The Limbo's are just a good thing. Okay, good. Yeah, because some of them I felt like in Limbo. It's been a while since I played, but I just felt like they were really twitchy about how you like moved and, and pushed things and like, like split second like timing on stuff to get back to places. Okay. Oh, there's a safety underneath the pipe, huh? Uh, I'm gonna have to go back. Cool use of the shadow, though. That's neat. Come on. What is with this? <laughs> uh, man, going fishing for people. All right, there's this. So there's a, one of those weird taser bots up there. Okay. No. Oh. All right, so things not messing around. Pay attention. It's a great sound, though. Oing, 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 oing. It wasn't being harpooned in the neck. Sorry, legs. All right, so it's going to be three turns then. Need to be patient. Give it three good turns. No, no, that's the no, no, kid. No, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, why are you going the wrong way? So, so, I don't know. If, I don't know if that was me or the game or my controller. I don't know what's going on there. Ah, uh, PC. 
There's uh there's some sort of robot up there with a uh, I don't know. I get basically harpooned. Tasered. Play on, yeah, play on PC with a controller. I have an old controller, but I usually, I usually like to blame the controller, but it's usually me, so. It's always the controller. Exactly. Like, I don't make mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Hey there, fellas. You always do the uh, wheels in the game with the keyboard rotating wheels that joystick is painful. Wait, wait, jeez. All right, what am I m missing here? Uh, is there a safe spot by this thing? No. Okay. Yeah, the art style is great. Very, very atmospheric, very creepy. Let's see, is there a blank spot in here? I'm just not seeing it. All right, there, okay, there is kind of one. Okay. What time is it? Almost 9.30. Let me take a quick break here. Go stretch my legs. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. What's going on down here? Down into the subway. Dogs. Uh... Dogs in the game are terrifying. This water is lovely. Is that a 
a ladder I can climb? No, it's just underwater. Okay, why, 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 why? You dive. Let's go faster. Ooh. Oh, and friends. Oh, they're going around. Come on. Oh. Man, I always I always like to stop and, you know, look at the scenery, you know, stop and smell the roses, and you just can't do that in this game. off one plank and get back on the fence. Doop, 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 doop. Come on, boys. This isn't one of them. Oh, cannot get to yet. Crap, 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 crap. There's three. Oh, there are three planks. Yeah, I guess I should not stop and smell the roses when the dogs are trying to have me for a snack. Oh, we have time to do this or not? Nope. All right, so we cannot be clumsy. No falling down. You know, at least they're dogs. They're they're well fed now. Boy. Oh, All right. If I fall, I'm not gonna do it. What the heck? So, hmm, if he jumps up and knocks me down, so I need to jump from mid. Yeah, I'm gonna jump like that. Hey, Prabha. Yes, that's a big ouch. All right, doggos. Back over here. Very persistent. Come on, get in there. There we go. Woo! I think we're safe. Hmm. Where the heck are we? Hmm. 
that's weird. Do, do, do. I just steal your little diving bell. Oh, neat. It's like a little pod. Cool. This little nudge. I feel like I should be able to break those. Okay, so it gives me a little little boost. Cool. There was some book I read as a kid and I cannot remember the name of the book. All I remember is that it was a uh, sort of a, it was technically it was a children's book but it was very creepy. All I remember is that at one point the kid was like running down an alley and he fell in a puddle. And the puddle was not just a puddle. The puddle like basically dropped him into a place like this. Like just massive, some underwater area. And there was just a giant like sea monster in the water waiting for him. That just, it, I remember that. It was been many years. It must have been 20 plus years ago. Easy. I read this book. And I still remember it to the day because it always creeped me out. And now I'm creeped out even more so. There's something big with tentacles down here. I'm gonna. I wonder if I still have that somewhere. Maybe it's in my parents' house. All right, so what's our maximum crush depth here? Is this a wall? The wall. And I know there had been more to the book than that, because basically that's just a couple pages. I think, like, the kid sort of battling this weird sea monster. I'll have to go see if I can find that. Alright, there's the floor. Alright, it looks like everything is... What do we got here? A weak spot in the wall? Tough little pod. What's that red light? Red light moving. And the details in this pod, like the things, chair spins around, depending which way he's going. Very cool. 